I tell you, I love my job. I hope you love your job. You, I, think, I, think, I think there's a direct correlation between how you feel about your job and how much money you spend each year on lottery tickets. <laughs> people think the hardest thing about being a comedian is getting up on stage in front of an audience, because I think most people are normal. You know, Most people don't have to be the center of attention, but I've never been one of those people, ever. <laughs> love being the center of attention. It actually bothers me when I'm not. That's why funerals have always been a little harder for me. <laughs> Uh, I'm not proud of that, folks. I just, I'm incredibly self-centered, so I don't want to hear about somebody else for an hour. You know, Bill was a good man. Yeah, well, Bill didn't take off work today. <laughs> I'm just incredibly self-centered. Uh, in fact, I think if I ever come home to an intervention, I think part of me would love the fact that I'm the reason everyone showed up. I'm t I've never been a team player. I even took Spanish when I was in high school, because in Spanish, there is an I in the word team. <laughs> El equipo. Puedo hablar muy poquito. Como se dice, it's all about me. <laughs> My wife knows how self-centered I am, in case anybody feels bad for her. Um, in fact, whenever I'm being hard on myself about something, she'll say, well, you know, we always hurt the one we love. And my daughter is just like me, which is why I don't like her. Uh, <laughs> I knew she was going to be a problem even before she was born. She's seven years old now, but when, we, when I saw the ultrasound picture, I actually thought it was going to be a boy, but she was just giving me the finger. <laughs> She's so much like me. That's, she loves being the center of attention, just like her old man. That's why she wasn't happy when we said she was going to have a, a sister. She was miserable, and I said, well, now you know how I felt when you got here. <laughs> I'll tell you another thing that's really great about being a comedian, there's no HR department to worry about. And that's ironic, because people like me are the reason they had to create the HR department. <laughs> and here's a little more irony for you, my wife has a master's degree in HR. Yeah, she went to school for uh, industrial psychology, even though I think archaeology would have been a better choice. Well, first of all, she loves archaeology, and second of all, like most women, she loves to dig up crap from the past that nobody really cares about. <laughs> oh, thank you. I, thank you. I love to see women enjoying that. Thank you. Well, actually, the first time my wife heard that joke, she actually said, that's, that's funny, but you know, I don't really dig up crap from the past. In fact, two years ago, we talked about it. <laughs> I met my wife on a cruise ship. Uh, I was working on the ship, and she was a pirate. Uh, it was a four-day Somalia run, ended up being a 400-day. Uh, to be honest, my wife was a passenger. I was working on the ship, and I was not supposed to talk to her because the cruise lines don't want the people working on the ship to get too close to the passengers. So I actually got reprimanded right after I met my wife, literally. Uh, an officer came over to me and goes, I see you talking to these guests. I want you to know there is no fraternizing with the guests. And I had no idea what fraternizing meant. <laughs> see, when I was in school, I had that learning disorder where you don't care. Yeah, it's a nasty disorder. You gotta jump on it early. Otherwise, you could spend years at a two-year school. <laughs> I went to a two-year school and dropped out after one year, but at least I finally paid off the $600 student loan. <laughs> so here, there I am, this officer says, there is to be no fraternizing. And I said, look, I'm just trying to bang her. <laughs> I, uh, I, Uh, we lived in New York City uh, for about eight years when we first met, uh, but it, it was, it, things were just a little, too, uh, a little too quiet, a little too safe, and a little too affordable, so we got the hell out. <laughs> New York City is like Epcot without the security. You know, even the people that ask you for money in New York City are more expensive. I gave a guy a $5 bill one time, and he said, no, it's $7.50. You know, to be honest, I, I love to help people out, and I wish I had more money so I could help more people out. I just don't like when someone you've never met before asks you for money and then talks to you like you're behind on a few payments. <laughs> you ever get that guy, the disheveled loan shark? 
Hey, you got some money? Ooh, I don't know, you got some people skills? <laughs> I live outside. Well, you should be better at public speaking. <laughs> I go to bed hungry. Well, go to bed earlier. <laughs> you know, the worst part is you actually become immune to that. You, you, you'll see somebody so far down their luck and you actually just, you walk by. And you know you've hit that point the first time you see somebody sleeping on a sidewalk in the middle of the day and think, man, I wish I could fall into a deep sleep like that. <laughs> Was that a tempur sidewalk? Look at that guy. I have a house, a bed, and a noise machine. I can't sleep. Look at him. My wife and I do have a noise machine, but it's a, uh, it's a white noise machine, so it just yells racist crap all night. Why don't you Asians go back to Africa? <laughs> that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> Speaking of Asia and Africa, this is interesting. My wife is actually from Asia, but right before I met my wife, I almost got engaged to a woman from Africa. We were dating, I was dating this really nice woman from a little village in Zimbabwe, Africa, uh, for a while, and I proposed to her, but she said, <laughs> <"What's that going laughs> You, know? you, move on. Yeah, yeah. you gotta move on, you gotta move on. Mm -hmm. it means... Mm -hmm. You know, whenever I hear the expression, no means no, I always feel bad for people who are dyslexic, because, you know, for them it's on. And, uh, yeah, that's a hell of a misunderstanding. <laughs> 